Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see important multiple choice questions from the chapter 3 of Pharmaceutics 1 that is Meteorology. In this chapter mainly discussing about uh, different system of uh, weights and measures then after that it is uh, dealing with uh, some important calculations calculations then uh, at last it says about osmotic pressure and all these things so in this video we can see important multiple choice question regarding this uh, chapter previously also I already uploaded the first two chapters of pharmaceutics uh, in different videos if you didn't watch that one you can watch it you can subscribe my channel NS Pharma YouTube channel by clicking subscribe button and also don't forget to press the bell button also so that you will get the notification so we can start now the first question of this chapter standard unit for weighing in avoid poise system standard unit for weighing in avoid poise system options are grain gallon pound ounce standard unit for weighing in avoid poise system actually there are two systems for weighing and measurement that is one is imperial system one is imperial system the second one is metric system metric system is like uh, we know this is like as a unit metric system okay imperial system again they classified into two types they are avoid poise one is avoid poise the other one is apothecaries apothecaries these are the different type of two types of imperial system Apothe apothecary system as well as avoid poise system the question here is the standard unit for weighing in avoid poise here it is the question so options grain gallon pound ounce the correct answer for this question is option c pound option c pound is the correct answer in case of apothecaries the standard unit for weighing is grain okay this one also you had noted down these are important points maybe the question will come from this avoid poise maybe it will may come from the apothecary system so it's normally for a student it will change normally if sometimes if they are avoid poise even we are studying also when we are attending the question uh, in the exam maybe we, we think that avoid poise in the avoid poise system the standard unit for weighing is grain and the apothecary system pound which is uh, changing sometime so for getting for uh, not changing for that one you can see here avoid poise this is the PO here it is PO that is the pound okay this is the pound so in avoid poise system the standard unit is pound in case of apothecary system you can see here this R okay that's the grain grain here it is R so you have to understand one thing in avoid poise system pound is the standard unit in apothecary system grain is the standard unit for weighing this is saying about the weighing but in both the system the measurement of capacity that is volume is the unit standard unit is gallon gallon in both avoid poises as well as apothecaries the standard unit for measurement of capacity this is for weighing the question was came on weighing but i am saying right now about the capacity the volume in both system gallon is the um, standard unit we will move to the next question question number two which of the following is known as troy system troy system 
So we studied imperial system as classified into two types, avoid poise as well as apothecaries. In this apothecaries system is known as Troy system. Troy system. Apothecary system is also known as Troy system. You can note it down here. The, here it is R. That's we studied grain as a standard unit. In case of Troy also you can see here R. Troy system. Okay. The options are apothecary, imperial, avoid poise, metric. The correct answer is option A. Apothecary system. The question number two. I mean three. According to the apothecary system, one ounce is equal to. According to apothecary system, one ounce is equal to how much grain? Options are 480, 437.5, 7000, 5760. Right now I will give the answer. After that we will discuss. The correct answer is option A, 480. The question was based on apothecary system. So some important measurements are there. We have to study this one. These are according to apothecary system. One thing 20 grain. 20 grain is equal to one scrapple. One scrapple. 20 grain. And 60 grain same thing 60 grain is equal to one drachm then 480 grain that was the question 480 grain is equal to one ounce and one more important thing you had study 5760 grain is equal to one pound these all things are based on apothecary system. This is about the apothecary system. Next we will see according to the avoid poise system. The same maybe question will be came from coming from the avoid poise system. So you have to study that one also. So now I will say about I am talking about avoid poise system. Avoid poise system. This is also important. Maybe question will come from the avoid poise system. In avoid poise system, one pound, one pound is equal to 16 ounce, 16 ounce, okay, 16 ounce, or Z, okay, 16 ounce. One pound is equal to, one pound is equal to 16 ounce, or which is equal to 7,000 grain, 7,000 grain, okay. This is very important. This is avoid poise system. Based on avoid poise system, one pound is equal to seven thousand grain. While based on apothecary system, one pound is equal to five thousand seven hundred and sixty grains. We will move to the next question. Question number four. Uh, according to apothecary system, one pound is equal to how much grain? This one we already studied now. According to apothecary system, this is asked about apothecary system, one pound is equal to how much grain? So here we studied, this is apothecary system, one pound is equal to 5760 grain. So the correct answer here, you can see the options, different option, 437, 437.5, 7000 then 6760 6, the last option 5760 the correct answer is option d we will move to the next question question number five according to avoid poise system one pound is this one also we study right now one pound is equal to seven thousand grain here we will see the options seven thousand grain that is the correct option is option a but we have to, to look for the next option also. It's already mentioned here 16 ounce. The option B was 16 ounce. That is here you studied one pound is equal to 16 ounce and also it is equal to 7000 grain. That is option B is also correct. So here the option D is the most correct option. So you had to select for option D. Option D is the most correct answer. 
now we will go for option, question number 6 standard unit of capacity it's asked about the capacity in imperial system options are quart pint minim gallon the correct answer is gallon gallon is the correct answer next question one drop is equal to 0.6 ml 0.5 ml 0.06 ml 0.1 ml one drop is equal to 0.06 ml the correct answer is option c next question one pint one pint is equal to 1000 ml 750 ml 500 ml and the last option 250 ml the correct answer is one pint is 500 ml one pint is 500 ml one more thing you had to study one quart one quart one quart is equal to 1000 ml this is also one important questions one quart is equal to 1000 ml and one pint is equal to 500 ml this is according to metric system so maybe the question will come according to the imperial system at that time you had to note it down imperial system in case of imperial system uh, one pint is equal to one pint is equal to 20 fluid ounce 20 fluid ounce i'm sorry you can see right now i think one one pint is equal to 20 fluid ounce and one quart is equal to 40 fluid ounce 40 fluid ounce okay these two are important points this is regarding imperial system imperial system of uh, measurement this is imperial system the first one one quart is equal to 1000 ml that was according to the metric system here the question was based on the metric system it's not mentioned but you have to opt for metric system no other option here so in case of imperial system one pint is equal to 20 fluid ounce and one quart is equal to 40 fluid ounce and one gallon this is also important one gallon one gallon is equal to 160 fluid ounce 160 fluid ounce that is one gallon we will move to the next question question number nine blood plasma freezing point blood plasma freezing point we can see the options 0 0.52 degree celsius 0 degree celsius minus 0 0.101 degree celsius minus 0.52 degree celsius the correct answer is option d option d is the correct answer next question question number 10 osmotic pressure of blood plasma is approximately 0 0.1 atm 6.7 atm and 32 atm 10 atm the correct answer is option b 6.7 atm these are the important multiple choice question from the second i mean uh, third chapter of pharmaceutics one and also some important calculation is also there in this uh, chapter but in this video i didn't include the calculations in separate video i will make calculation for all the subject means for all the chapters yeah, right now i didn't include calculation part you can study your own otherwise i will uh, afterwards i will make a video regarding this uh, calculation part calculation uh, including all the chapters of pharmaceutics so thank you guys for watching this video and if you like uh, share with your friends pharmacy friends and this i think this will be very helpful for those who is preparing for the competitive exams of uh, different public service commission thank you